Yes, sir, baby. We out here. Uh, just got finished doing uh over four miles, just walking around the neighborhood. Salute to my boy Z and boy Zach. Uh, yeah, yeah, a little over four miles, man. Still getting it in, man. No excuse policy, man. It ain't working if we don't sweat. Hey, man, we still got to get this work. Hey, man. It's easy to create a bad habit, but it's hard to let it go. It's hard to break it. Man, you got to have a strong mentality to keep doing something that's good for you consistently. So, man, we all about practicing good habits. Practicing good habits, man, healthy habits is going to make us better. But let's get this word, let this stick. Connect before you correct. I said connect before you correct. Man, oftentimes, man, we so quick to correct people for them doing wrong, man. And we don't even really gain or seek understanding as to why folk doing what they doing. And, like, when you see somebody out there in the streets doing wrong, or you see somebody in your family or somebody in a household doing wrong, hey, man, have a level of communication to a point you reach understanding. We don't communicate enough to a point of understanding because when we reach a level of understanding, we reach a level of wisdom where we will know how to help an individual when they've done something wrong or when they need help. Man, oftentimes, man, if you don't connect before you correct, folk ain't trying to listen to you. Folk ain't trying to hear what you got to say. Man, your words go beyond deaf ears, man. It's like nobody trying to hear you. Nobody trying to hear what you got to say. And another thing, when it comes to correcting people, you cannot be one-dimensional. If you correcting somebody all the time about what they're doing wrong, whether it's parents, whether you are in a school, your teacher, whether you run a nonprofit organization for kids, um, any anything where you're dealing with just correcting people, just in life, period, just as much as you correct them, you should be bigging them up. Oftentimes, man, I feel like there's, there's so many people that correct people, but they don't big people up. They don't praise people. Some people just lack affirmation. Some people just lack love. Some people just lack connections and relationships or just knowing that somebody actually truly care. Man, you can't be one, one dimensional in your correcting. Some people, man, that's all you do is telling them about what they did wrong. But you never tell them what they're doing right. How they going to do better if it's only coming one way? From a negative perspective, but never a positive perspective. Man, you can't always be telling somebody what they do wrong, but never tell them what they do right. So, man, at the end of the day, let's communicate to a level of understanding, to reach a level of wisdom, so then we can help people better. Hey, man, the mission of, of life is to be a better you than you was yesterday. That takes so much of the weight of the world off your shoulders. When you, all your mission, I'm talking about, because some people want to put the whole, when Monday comes or Sunday comes, they want to put the whole week in their head. They want to put the whole month in their head, the whole year, your whole life in your head. No, man, life is one day at a time. I mean, you can plan and prepare, but you still only can do one day at a time with that being said focus on just being a better you than you was yesterday making yesterday today better than yesterday making it brighter than yesterday so man like like man sometimes man you don't if with understanding you'll learn that man some people just need some love or they just need a lending ear where you can just listen to see what hear what they got to say and then you'll gain understanding like man i see why you do that man or well, some people, man, it's their past. Some, sometimes, man, it's yesterday. Sometimes it's how they woke up this morning that determines why, when you come in contact with them, why they do, feel, talk, or pretty much speak on what they do wrong. You can see why people do what they do if you pay enough attention. Man, I heard a guy say a while back, man, if you, you can find good in anybody if you look close enough. Some of y'all not taking the time to actually understand an individual where you can help them in a high 
level way. Let this stick. Plug it in, plug it in. Connect before you correct. Because if you don't connect before you correct, folk going to press the reject button. <laughs> they going to press the reject button, reject you. I ain't trying to hear what you got to say. Because if you ain't spending enough time, if you're spending so much time on correcting them, but not uplifting them, uplifting them under the same voice, in the same way, in the same manner, man, they ain't trying to hear nothing you got to say. So, you know, we all make mistakes. We all have errored. And then some of y'all, man, when y'all correcting them, you see you in that individual. So just as much as you, you tear them down, man, with your words or correcting them, man, build them up. And I'm telling you, when your voice goes out towards them, they'll receive you. They might not listen to everybody else, but when you come to them, they'll hear what you got to say. Because more than what they did wrong, it's about the relationship. It's about understanding so we can get to a common ground and once we get to a common ground of understanding then we can help each other build with each other in a healthier way hey man you already know we gonna get this where we out